Hi everyone, this is Mayla Ash, representing Wings of Strength, doing interviews here for Muscle Develop. And we are here with the infamous Milos to get the ultimate prediction. So, Milos, who do you predict being the top winners? Okay, well, uh, I can't say the uh, top prediction in order, but uh, let's analyze everybody. Raleigh Winkler, right, is the top three Mr. Olympia. Uh, he has established himself as elite, so the major favorite. He came out of nowhere. I saw him and he looks in shape. So he would be, you know, one of the very favorites to win, right? Mm -hmm. Because once you uh, establish yourself as a top three Olympia competitor, you are favorite in any smaller show that you ent enter. Hunter Labrada uh, has been, uh, you know, bigger version of his father, and uh, uh, coming in uh, improved, constantly in shape. Mm -hmm. We saw the Instagram photos, and he looked tremendous. He just showed me the pictures from. Uh, hour ago and he is in top condition complete mm -hmm. so he would be contender now uh, i would be biased because maybe i'm a max charles's coach mm -hmm. but i'm a big fan of max charles of course i'm coaching him for this one and uh, i see him in the mix mm -hmm. and you know, so you know max is is there he's in shape uh can he match uh, uh size and width of uh, of uh, both of those previous guys yes he can uh shaban shaban was uh twice second uh, he came also improved I, I think he told me almost 20 pounds difference than I when I saw him last year when he competed at uh, California Pro so uh, he is complete nothing missing um, Charles Glass is uh, uh, training him I've seen his uh, training footage he looks right and he looks dry he has a uh, great legs complete uh, Hassan Hassan has been uh, okay since New York appearance last year, yes. we all saw that potential. Mm -hmm. We all saw him maybe pressing a little bit higher than that. Potentially even win the show. Mm -hmm. But then he starts slipping and he just didn't uh, come in shape. We all know he has uh, all the muscle mass in the world. Mm -hmm. Dense, high quality, thick muscle. He didn't get in condition. I know that uh, Chris Acedo is probably trying very hard with him and they just didn't find the formula yet. Maybe the, the way he looked, uh, he was just here. I saw him in the corner of my eye. He looked lean. Mm -hmm. And a uh, guy so thickly muscled like him, he just needs to be lean. Yeah. He doesn't, you don't have to worry about uh, carving him up and uh, getting him fuller. So these are the guys that uh, are leading in my prediction. Then Brett Wilkin. Oh my God, Brett Wilkin is uh, um, so improved. Mm -hmm. If you look at uh, if you have from a pure standpoint, he has a pure shape aesthetics and now much more muscle mass. He also gained like, I think over 30, 30 pounds of a quality beef. And he has a separation. He has aesthetics, flat stomach, deep abs, full round muscle bellies. So you see with, with people uh, like this, when you, you want to Las Vegas odds, who's going to win? You know, uh, in Las Vegas, I think favor would be Raleigh Winkler to win and uh, Lee Labrada there and then uh, my guy Max and everybody else would be shooting possibly for second third but as you know in every sport surprises can happen so who do you feel is the dark horse that could be the underdog to win uh, yeah I, I do think that uh, Max Max can uh, pull it off you know so uh, as a coach of course uh, I have to limit myself so right. it's not good for me to, to say it, but I do believe that uh, he can pull it off uh, but after him? After him, I mean, uh, uh, Hunter Labrada really mm -hmm. is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Now, last couple of shows, he didn't really bring the condition. And, uh, you know, I openly told him, like, listen, that's uh, a difference from uh, winning or losing. Uh, on, on that note, uh, you know, to finish what I was uh, talking, back in the 90s when I competed, let's just put it this way, Everybody was in, in shape, like 97 Olympia, there was only 13 of us. So somebody had to be first and somebody had to be last. And I was very, very close. And the last guy was uh, Charles Claremont, looking phenomenal, but he had to be 13. In 1998, 99 Olympias also, everybody was in shape. I just talked to Bob Chikorila and he mentioned uh, Jake Hadley was 15th out of 16 guys in the Mr. Olympia 1999, looking in tremendous condition, right? So when you when you hear 15th place, you think like oh you know he was often no. When you have a, such a close competition, 
judges have to pick first yeah. and they have to pick second, third, third. So right now, going into the show, uh, the, the way I see it, it's uh, Raleigh, uh, Max, Hunter, uh, Hassan, Shaban, and uh, uh, Brett Wilkin, mm -hmm. top six. In which order? That's what we're going to see tomorrow once they start comparing. Not tomorrow, day after tomorrow when they start comparing. And then when you see condition and, and uh, stage presence. and uh, It's going to come down to the presentation pretty yes, much. Yes, it has to be. You know, like you have to attract the attention of the judges and the audience. You have to show them that you're winning and why you're winning. Mm -hmm. Well, here we are with the Clio prediction for the Chicago Pro. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is Mayla Ash with representing Wings of Strength for Muscle Development.